So I read the New York Times. I actually really still like the paper New York Times. Um, I also read Salon often. Government technology is online, CNET, um, slash dot, I hate to admit it, but. <laughs> and then I always read concurring opinions, but you know, I get the New York Times, that's what, sort of my print life, is the New York Times at home. But then online, I sort of check my favorite blogs, legal theory blog, balkanization. Online, I probably, being a bit of a traditionalist, I probably keep the BBC. I look at a range of newspapers as well. Online now, I don't, I don't read newspapers anymore offline, very rarely. I do look at the American New York Times, but also in the UK, The Guardian. I tend not, I look at blogs, but I tend not to rely on them, especially for, for news content. The election season, I'm, I'm always looking at the polls and the political blog. At this point, I've gotten sick of it. But. The newspapers that I actually almost exclusively only read online, uh, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, uh, and, uh, boy, how boring, and Washington Post. I have to say I'm a bit addicted to Huffington Post. Um, and I use CNN just to see what mainstream uh, media is talking about. And then I use um, uh, TPM to find out what the real news is. <laughs> Boing Boing doesn't really count as a news source, does it? <laughs> I read the New York Times in print, and I look at the New York Times briefly online. So I look at the Washington Post, I look at the LA Times. I suppose I have two sources of news. One is the print paper and two is online.